Welcome back, y'all. You said my last video was too long, so let's make a mod pack for Thunderstore. First things first, create a folder. Go to right click, new, create folder. Name it whatever you want, doesn't matter. I have already done this. We've got one called mod pack, okay? Next, go to your browser, navigate to thunderstore.io. Doesn't matter if it's Valheim thunderstore.io or anything of that nature. Mine is valheim.thunderstore.io. Go to the developer dropdown and package format docs is where you need to go. This tells you everything that you need to know about uploading a package to Thunderstore. Bare minimum items, icon PNG, a readme.md, and a manifest.json. Your change log is optional to be separated. I highly recommend this because your change logs can become lengthy over time and the readme.md file has a limit on how big it can actually be. Next. Inside of your manifest content, which is going to be down here, this test mod here and some mod here. Technically, they're talking about the same thing, which is the name. You cannot have spaces. Please know that you cannot have spaces. If you want it to display as if it did have a space, use an underscore like they did here. Next, jump back to your, dis, uh, your desktop or wherever you have this installed. Okay. We're going to right click. We're going to go to new text document. We're going to create a manifest.json. Make sure that you spell this correctly. You do your things and make sure that the file type in the end, like mine says JSON source file. I recommend that you have something like notepad plus plus or VS code or something like that, that can open this file and allow you to edit it. Next, the package format docs say that we need a readme.md file. Okay. Make sure it says markdown source file as the type. Optionally, we're going to create our changelog.md. So changelog.md. And the icon, what it specifies is that it must be 256 by 256 in resolution, must be called icon.png. For the sake of argument, just so you can see the file, I'm going to create one uh, that is bogus. It will not work. Don't do this. Create your own file, make sure it's the correct dimensions, all the good stuff. Okay. Next, our mod pack is technically done other than the fact that we need to create the mod pack. We need to say what mods we want. That's all done inside the manifest JSON. Pop this open with your editor of choice. Go back to Thunderstore. Grab the example JSON content. Paste the JSON content. Now, this is an example dependency. This is your version string. Your version string is what you bump the version up of every single time that you need a version update. So we're going to say 1.0.0 because it's the initial release. Website URL can be a Discord invite. It can be a GitHub link as they have in this case. It could be really anything that you want to. Create your description. Please read this. It's 250 characters max. Make sure that you limit it to that. Otherwise, your package is going to fail when you go to upload. Again, if you want to show a space in the dis uh, in the display, but not necessarily have the space because you can't, do an underscore. Okay, so this will be test mod. It'll show that way in the display. We're going to save it. Now, let's go to back to Thunderstore. Let's grab a mod, which everybody needs Bepinex. This is going to be pinned. You're going to go here to the dependency string. This is where you can find it. It's right there. Replace this. Almost every single mod pack is going to want that latest version by default for Valheim. If you need more than one, do a comma here. Basic JSON formatting, do another bit quotes. Let's say that we want some really cool mod. We'll just jump to my mod page here. Let's say that you wanted crafty boxes, for instance. We're going to click on crafty boxes. Right here is my dependency string for that mod. You're going to copy it, jump right back, paste it inside your quotes. Go to the next one. Let's say we wanted a third mod. Go here, right? Go back to Thunderstore. Let's say we wanted this first mod at the top. Grab their dependency string, copy, and paste. Now we've got Bepinex to guarantee to be a specific version. We've got this as a crafty boxes to be of a specific version. And we've got this, right? Save the mod. This is my cool mod. This is the initial release. Let's say that this was my description. Everything's good to go. Jump back to your folder. You're ready to upload. Highlight all files. Right click. Send to. Compress zip. Does not matter what the zip's called. It's not going to show anywhere in the end. Go back to Thunderstore. You are now going to click the upload drop down. Make sure you're in the Valheim community because this video is specifically for Valheim. Create a team if you don't have one. I've already got a ton of teams, so I'm not going to create one, but you create one right here in this little dropdown. 
Please, for the love of God, tag your mod pack as a freaking mod pack. It shows in a different tab and it allows you to have various benefits like enforcing specific versions of mods. Okay, cool. So tag it as mod pack. Grab your zip file, drag, drop it. When you're ready, click submit. Obviously, I'm not going to do that because I don't have any content and uh, my icon PNG doesn't work. So video is over, but let's say that you wanted additional information like how do I update my mod pack? How do you update your mod pack? You delete your zip. You technically don't need it. Go to your manifest JSON, pop it right back open. Let's say that Bepinex pack updates tomorrow and it's now 2106, but you need to specify a specific version. Go here and say 1.0.1. .1. We have now made a small minor change to our mod pack, right? Because we don't have any mods of our own, we're done. We're going to say send to and press zip. Make our thing. Now, same thing, same process. Choose the same team. Choose the same community. Tag it as a freaking mod pack, please. Click submit. Now, we've updated our mod pack. It takes about five minutes to display on Thunderstore. Let's say that you are one person that is still not satisfied with this fairly short video. We are going to say, how do we enforce configurations on a client? Now, this is where you get in the nitty gritty. You have to right click, new, folder. Call it Bepinex. You're done. Now, if you want to enforce mods on a player, if you own them and have the rights to upload them, you just say plugins. You drop the DLLs here. Let's say you want to enforce configs. You need to mimic the config, so config right here, and drop your config files in here. Now, when you go back to your mod pack and you go like this, you highlight them all and you send to zip all of those configs and all of those plugins that you should have the rights to upload. Make sure you have the rights, otherwise your mod pack will get pulled down. You have the rights and the ability to edit those DLLs. You can then just drag and drop again. We're going to say cancel on this, drag and drop your new zip and click submit again. Zip file does not matter. It's going to look at the manifest JSON to determine when, where, how to update, where to update the mod pack and who owns it based on the team. So technically we're done. Hopefully this video is short enough for everybody now. I've done nothing but talk and uh, I'll shut up. See you later.